So hi everyone, now we'll be measuring diameter breast height. And the reason why we want to do this is that um, diameter breast height is a measurement of tree growth. So this is the tape measure that we'll be using for diameter breast height. And as you can see, there's two sides of it. So um, what you want to do is that you want to use the side that's in centimeters. The other side will be measuring it in meters. Okay, so now we'll be measuring um, diameter breast height. So what you want to do when you measure diameter breast height is that you want to start measuring 1.3 meters above, um, starting from the base of the tree. So as you can see here, I'm starting at the base of the tree at zero, and I'm checking it all the way up to 1.3 meters. So um, I've indicated it with a red tape, but usually um, we will do this with two people. So one person can just indicate where the 1.3 meter mark is, and from there you'll start doing the measurement of diameter breast height. So um, what I've done is that I've wrapped the tape measure around the tree to measure diameter breast height at the 1.3 meter mark as um, I've explained earlier. So what you want to do is that you just look at where the zero lines up with on the tape measure and you can see it's about um, around 25.1 so that will be 25.1 cm for your diameter breast height for this specific tree. Yeah. And look at this white buttress root! Do you know how to measure the diameter breast height for this tree? Option 1 So actually before we start measuring the tape We need to make sure that we start from 0 meters Right? And then we have to go to 1.3 meters So we'll start from the base of the buttress root Wait, 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 I'm pretty sure that's wrong Why yeah. is it wrong? It's on the slope Come on, try again, option 2 Okay, option 2 See Louis, this is how you're supposed to do it But it doesn't measure the, the bottom Then how are we going to do it? I don't know Okay, you do it Option 3 We measure from the middle of the slope Why? Because this is the middle which is the average from the top and the bottom of the slope but As you can see, it is very difficult to do it as one person because this is on a slope So it's best for us to yeah, do it as people. two people because Why? Teamwork makes the dream work Oh, no, stop it Louis <laughs> Now let's look at this tree. It has steel roots and the roots are look so wonky. So how do we actually measure the DBH of these roots? Hmm, is it something like this? Hey progression, how do we measure the DBH of this tree? Am I doing it right? Great question, Lewis. This looks really complicated. But actually we just take the most simple method. We go just above where the buttressing or the silt roots start, right? Right. And if we have something weird just at 1.3, we can either go below or above. Thank you, Prof Gretchen. You're very welcome, Lewis. Now that we have learned from Prof Gretchen how to measure that unique tree, let us apply our skills here. So as you can see from this, this is actually 1.3 meters right on this bulky looking thing. So what is this bulky looking thing? Actually, I heard from Prof. Gretchen, this is called a burl. B-U-R-L. Right? Okay, so now as we can see, the 1.3 meters is right in the middle of the burl. So how do we measure the dbh of this tree? So Prof. Gretchen mentioned earlier that we can measure from either the bottom or the top of the 1.3 meters. So in this case, because the burl is right in the middle of the 1.3 meters, right? And the, the buttressing is still at the bottom, so we have to go to the top of the bow and it will measure the dbh from there 